What is up, Buff Riders? KG, Rough to be Buff TV. We are back with another exercise tutorial today. Today, we are taking a look at the box step up progression scale. So, first, we're starting with just a regular box step up. We want to make sure that the box foot is doing predominantly all of the work. We're doing very minimal push off on that floor foot. Getting nice and tall at the top, make sure that you're really um, accentuating a good glute squeeze at the top. I like for my athletes to get a little glute squeeze at the top. Uh, the next movement we're taking a look at is basically uh, we got the stomp step up to balance. Now you can see I'm adding a little bit more speed. I'm getting that nice high knee. I also like to call these high knee to step up to balance. Um, so making sure that we're able to stick that movement at the top, finish through the hips, as always, stabilize first and then start adding speed second. Now here we have a plyo step up. Now I always encourage my athletes to start off with some small little baby ones before you go into some continuous plyo box step ups. Really get a feel for balance, for weight distribution, making sure we're getting that chest forward with our back nice and straight. And now we've just adding the stomp. Now why we add the stomp is really just to create more force production, get a little bit more uh, height in the knee, a little, little hip flexion if you will, and then get into a nice big high drive step step up make sure to get the arms involved get good extension on that box foot you're getting stomping driving through that hip getting nice and tall at the top uh, and as always absorb your weight the next part of this is adding a band now you're gonna need two two inch assistance bands make sure you create enough distance where that band is not pulling you off the box I will say the first time you do this the band um, is going to pull back on you now this the band is just going to elicit more of a response in our hips and glutes so that when I'm getting to the top position of the step up I'm getting more extension and more glute activation this is an awesome exercise um, it's fun for your athletes to do it does uh, involve quite a bit of coordination balance um, it's a really easy one to get though and then once they get it obviously there's a, a joy in teaching that but making sure you're getting that weight forward over the box foot now you can see just adding a stomp it's just subtle things like this that make the exercise a little bit more difficult or a little bit more efficient and more productive with our time so because we're really just talking all progressions today so make sure that band is in your hip crease and um, that you're stomping, the box foot is doing a majority of the work, drive that knee nice and high, get tall at the top of the movement. Um, and here we go, we have basically kneeling plyometric step up. So I'm gonna lean back a little bit, I'm gonna load up that hip and then step, drive and step basically. Um, is kind of the verbal cue I give. So a little lean, I get a little bit of weight, drive, step, drive and step. Um, is the easiest way for me to explain that. This is kind of a difficult one. You can have the back toe dug into the ground or flat. Um, I like to just prefer to do it with my back toe dug into the ground. But we are just leaning on that back, getting a little bit of weight going in, I guess you could say behind you. I'm just leaning back, putting a little bit of tension on that down quad and then getting a nice good stomp and then stick it at the top as always. Get nice good posture, finish through those hips and glutes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am KG. This is Rough To Be Buff TV. If you've learned anything new today, drop me a big blue thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here. I will see all of you here next time at Rough To Be Buff TV. Peace.